All right, we're still at the 140 Twitter conference in LA, and I'm here with uh, Marcus Schmidt from Microsoft. Marcus, nice to see you. Hey, Jesse, how's it going? Awesome. So, uh, so you're uh, responsible for a lot of Twittering activity at Microsoft. Tell I us about that. I do my fair share of tweeting for Microsoft, you bet. Yeah, so tell us about that. Well, I work on the at uh, MS Windows account, which is our main account for Windows. Yeah. Uh, it's got about 45,000 followers as of the last time I checked. Um, I also do some work on an at Windows Live account, which is the account for our online services, or Windows Live and the other software that goes on your PC to help you kind of connect to those online services. And then we've got a couple other little accounts as well. We've got a Windows Gamer account for gamers. Um, there's an IE account for people into Internet Explorer. But probably the main one is that M MS Windows account. Nice. And so how is it fitting into your overall strategy? Uh, it's a key part of our social media strategy. We basically have this idea of you know, going where the customers are, going where the customers are having conversations, and Twitter is obviously one of those huge areas for us. We also do stuff on Facebook, we do stuff on MySpace, YouTube. We build our own community sites so people can come to Microsoft.com and engage in community activity. But Twitter is definitely a key part of um, how we think we can both listen to what our customers are saying as well as engage in that conversation they're having about Windows. Tell me more about how the role that Twitter plays within the context of those other sites. How do you think about Twitter vis-a-vis -vis Facebook and some other social media yeah, sites? Yeah, I think Twitter is that much more immediate situation, right, where you're not spending, um, you know, I, I think Twitter is like the, the fastest of the social media uh, channels, if you will. Yep. Um, Facebook gets a little longer, a little more protected discussion. But Twitter, you can sort of get instant reaction to things. You can get an instant sense for what people are feeling about stuff. So that's where I think uh, it's probably our most um, conversational, if you will, of all the different social media channels that we have. Gotcha. How much time do you spend in the various social networks? How does it, how does it compare? Uh, me personally, I don't do much with our Facebook page. We have another member of our team that, that works on our Facebook stuff and our YouTube stuff. So I spend most of my time either on Twitter or on our own on-domain community work where we're trying to build our own sites on Microsoft.com to get people to engage in our community activities like share their blogs or engage in support forums, those kind of things. Got it. Got it. So, um, so you use CoTweet? I do use CoTweet. Yeah, so tell us about that. Uh, we love it. It's really been the key way for our whole team to start tweeting. I mean, you can imagine you get 45,000 followers, you look at all the conversation that's in the Twitter sphere about Windows. There's no, no, no way that any one person could kind of manage that. So the fact that we can have a tool like CoTweet that helps us um, have a whole team of people that engage on that Twitter account, but yet still have the brand associated with the person. So when people are looking at at MS Windows, they also see it's a you know a little carrot MS behind it, so they know it's Marcus tweeting, or it's a JT, so they know it's Josh tweeting, or AW for Allie. So it's a great way for have a multiple set of people tweeting on behalf of one brand and keep that sort of personal brand connection thing going. That's great. That's great. So you guys have a big launch coming up. We do. In a little less than a month from now, we have the launch of Windows 7 happening, and we've been able to use CoTweet and Twitter as a way to really drive people's excitement around that launch. We have this little thing going on with a hashtag called hash win win 7 right now, yep. where we're saying, hey, you know, if you follow us, we'll be giving away interesting things with the number 7 in it. We gave away pizzas with a design of a 7 on it. We gave away 7 free beverages from the Microsoft you know, cooler. We gave away... Uh, what else? $7.77 in the form of Andrew Jackson coins and pennies. Andrew Jackson was the seventh president. So we've got all these cool things that we're doing, and it's really uh, helped us kind of keep tabs on all of that as we drive up towards what we hope is 77,777 followers on October 22nd when we launch Windows 7. Nice. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Marcus, thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Jesse. You guys got a great application. We really enjoy using it. Thank you.